Hello friends, in this topic, we will be having entire explanation, construction, principle and working of ND YAG laser. So the question regarding this topic is like explain principle construction and working of ND YAG laser or draw the schematic diagram of ND YAG laser. So, what is the principle of ND YAG laser? ND represents neobdinium using ND plus 3 ions and YAG represents yttrium aluminium garnet. Yttrium aluminium garnet. That is Y3, Al5 and O12. Sum of Y plus 3 ions are replaced by ND plus 3 ions. That is neodymium ions. The crystal atoms of YAG do not take part in lasing action but act as a host lattice in which the active centers, so which will be active medium here, ND plus 3 ions. And the ND YAG laser is an optically pumped solid state laser which can produce very high power emissions since it is lasing medium operates as a four level system so it produces very high power emissions that is more important thing here this is the construction of ND YAG laser in which we are having mirrors M1 and M2 which are elliptical mirrors here these are elliptical mirrors then ND YAG rod is there below which there is a flash tube connected between these two elliptical mirrors now there are switches S1 and S2 and in between the supply and the resonant cavity we are having capacitor bank over here on the right side there is trigger pulse which uses transformer type of construction and this entire setup is connected to power supply using current controlling rheostat obviously rheostat ka kaam hota hai current ko control karna so let's understand what is the each and everything included in this diagram it consists of elliptical reflectors fixed at the either ends of ND YAG laser rod along one of their focus line and a flash tube along the other focus line and the light leaving the focus of the ellipse passes through the other focus after reflection from the silvered surface of reflector thus the entire flash tube radiation gets focus on the ND YAG laser rod why we are using flash tube here because it will be giving the stimulating photons to ND YAG material thus entire flash tube radiation gets focus on ND YAG laser rod using this reflectors the two ends of laser rod are polished and silvered and form the optical resonator cavity as we saw in the diagram. S1 and S2 are the fast acting electronic switches employing silicon control rectifiers means silicon control rectifiers are used in these switches and which can be made giving triggering pulses. To control the discharge current rheostat is used as we discussed and a capacitor bank is used to provide voltage to the flash tube when the SCRs are non-conducting. Now what is the working of this laser? For working we have to understand the diagram. Here what is shown in this diagram? Obviously it uses how many levels of pumping? We are having two pumping schemes, three level pumping and four level pumping. So in ND YAG, ND has only limited energy levels E1, E2 and E3. 
but yag has many other energy levels forming the pump bands so pumping takes place with the light of wavelength 5000 armstrong to 8000 armstrong so flash tube will give photons in the wavelength range of 5000 to 8000 armstrong and which will excite nd plus 3 ions to higher states the metastable state e3 of nd rapidly gets populated due to downward transition from higher energy level bands as none of them are metastable so energy level e3 is metastable state in nd ag laser like shown in the diagram so there is a pumping or transition which is absorption type of transition from e1 to higher energy levels which are many energy levels so you can say e5 e6 and from there they will have spontaneous transitions to e3 hence e3 will be acting as metastable state and from metastable state there will be lasing action or you can say lasing transition which produces 10600 armstrong infrared radiation now the population inversion will be taking place between e3 and e2 so e3 will be having higher population of atoms than e2 and continuous laser beam of 10600 armstrong in the infrared region is given out to the stimulated emissions and it will be happening between energy level e3 to e2 which will produce laser light of infrared spectrum now what are the advantages of nd ag laser nd ag laser can be operated in continuous wave mode so it can produce continuous output it can also operate at several different wavelengths so you can have many wavelengths in nd ag laser using helium neon laser only red color is possible to achieve or you can have radiations of single color which is red but here you can have different wavelengths in nd ag laser it uses four level system therefore it requires less input power see what is the connection between a higher level system and less power obviously the energy difference between energy level e1 and e2 is more but e2 e3 e3 to e4 the energy difference gets reduced so if energy difference gets reduced the energy required at input will be less now the doping of yag crystal with nd can be altered to give different operating characteristics and that is the most important advantage of nd ag laser also it offers higher energy output of about 250 megawatt and very high repetition rate of 10 into 10 is to 9 to 25 into 10 is to 9 pulses per second very high repetition rate and the last advantage is it is very easy to attain population inversion in nd ag laser now what are the disadvantages of nd ag laser obviously it requires high voltage and allied electrical or electronic circuit which is complicated as we saw the switching arrangement the capacitor bank arrangement revostat and supply voltage with pulse generation this is complex electrical circuit which we have to arrange although it is simple to have active medium as india rod and flashlight placed between two elliptical mirror this construction is simple but the electric circuit part along with this construction makes it complicated and obviously it will be having high cost it requires technical skills to design operate and maintain obviously 
where electrical components comes over there, you must be careful and you have to design them properly and operate and maintenance is also required from time to time. Escaping of gas. Escaping of gas from laser discharge tube is a troublesome thing in this type of laser. So, moving towards the applications of NDAG laser, where it used. NDAG laser is generally used in surgical operations like removal of cancer cells. So, in surgical operations like removal of cancer cells, in several skin treatments and removal of hair. So, you might be heard about uh, laser clinics for uh, cosmetic surgeries or for removing hairs or for skin treatments. Whenever laser treatment is there, the application of NDAG laser is there. Also, it is used in material processing like drilling, spot welding, etching and marking. So, drilling could be done using NDAG laser because it is having high power. It is also used in military operations like range finding and target designations. So, you might heard about uh, what is the range of rifle. It is founded by using NDAG laser. The last application is in research applications such as Raman spectroscopy, remote sensing and mass spectroscopy. Mass spectrometry you might be heard in other sessions of physics. So this is about construction, working, merits demerits and applications of NDAG laser. The NDAG laser applications are totally different than helium neon laser applications. Because it is mostly used in skin treatments and hair removal treatments. Thank you so much.